to boldly go where no man has gone before. <laughs> We're talking about Star Trek Lower Decks. Lower Decks! Lower Decks! Lower Decks! The show that is on its fifth season is now finally coming into print. Now, don't get me wrong. There has been a small three-issue run, of which is hilarious that they do mention it itself in this book as well. And I can't tell you how excited I am for this. I am a Lower Decker. I will be a Lower Decker full through and full and through and through until Q comes to get me. Now, talking about this IDW, this is the number one issue. It is Lower Decks. We know this. We love this. You can also find it on Paramount+. Plus. Uh, we also are doing our fantastic reviews here on Nerd Initiative by yours truly. So make sure you tune in every Thursday for those reviews. So, Lower Decks number one from IDW. Let's talk about it. It is written by Ryan North. The art is by Derek Charm. And the letters are by Clayton Cowles. But who cares about all those guys? This story is brought to you by Badgie. That's it. Plain and simple. This story is brought to you by Badgie. Now, I don't know why they decided to go to the comic book format. I don't care. I'm just getting more lower decks, and this is satisfying me. The great part is that even though this TV series is on season five, they are not restarting things here with an issue one. They are right in line with what we're seeing on TV. So everybody on here is Lieutenant JG. That's great. They're not ensigns. They're still lower deckers, and we get all these fantastic stories that are coming along with it. I'm not going to give away spoilers on this, but this is a Lower Decks comic book the way a Lower Decks comic book should be. With that said, make sure that you read every single little line. Make sure that you check out the bottom of the pages because badgy. That's all I'm saying. Badgy. The characters are exactly the same as you see them on TV. Just put on the panel page. The stories and the ideas are, are right there. They're not too camp, which is great. But the first two pages had me going, wait a minute, what are we doing? And then they finally made sense of it in page three. Uh, so I, I can't tell you enough. Go get this book. IDW is seriously going to have a, a home run. Like this thing is going to warp nine like nobody's business. Now, having that said, as it is an issue one, it's going to get my standard 8.5 out of 10. But trust me. The next book, the next issue, I'm telling you, is going to just keep going up from there. Make sure you come back here to Nerd Initiative for all your fantastic comic book and Star Trek reviews. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life.